And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a full campaign speed run with Pike. Uh, this is going to be our second attempt. We're going to be trying to break the two hour record. Uh, if you all saw it, we did a, a speed run with Caitlin with the full campaign uh, last week and we got two hours, 14 minutes on that. And that was the fastest time because that was the only time. But Zreitning uh, did go ahead and play it with Jinx and got a time of two hours and one minute. So great time there. So that's going to be the time we're going to try to beat. We're going to be using Pike now because uh, as you all know, we went through the whole uh, campaign with Pike just previously, like level by level, put that up on YouTube. So um, my Pike was pretty leveled up. I, I worked uh, and got Pike to level 22. So we can go ahead and try this speed run. Now you can see here, uh, we're going to be doing our, our second attempt here because we actually just did this Pike speed run <laughs> and um, we were doing great. We got through Nautilus at hour 21. Like I said, we had to beat two hours. But then during Victor, the second to last fight with Victor, I accidentally hit the stop time and then it flustered me and then things started messing up and then we uh, died once to Victor uh, and so then that would have added on to our time, but I accidentally stopped the time there. Um, it, we would have won about an hour 45 approximately um, if I wouldn't, you know, if, if I didn't stop the time. So would have, you know, beat the record by 15 minutes, but we're going to try again, you know, and we'll just... Uh, see if we can do better than that. So we'll have like our, this is our different times to get through because we're going through the full campaign, Lulu all the way through Victor. All right, uh, to our relic items. You know, we have our pike. We're going to have our two rare relic items. We're going to be using two of this relic item that says plunder I cost two less. And so therefore we're using two of them because pike costs four. So that if we have plunder, then pike costs zero mana. And it also makes the death from blows zero mana. Um, so uh, what we're going to try to do is have like Snapjaw Swarm, get a free attack, hit the opponent, then we have zero mana pike, and we can play our pike. All right, anyway, let's get to it. Let's start our speed run. Um, hopefully do about as good as last time. Our Lulu run was just perfect though. Uh, I do not expect us to have as fast of a Lulu run this time. But let's go ahead and kick it off here with Lulu. All right, so let's not mess up the timer again. I should maybe, maybe I should do this to make sure I don't hit the button. Let's, uh, how do I change the settings? There we go, change the, this set. So let's set this hotkey to be like this button here. The, this plus button, I never hit that button ever. All right, once we uh, hit travel here, uh, we will start the time right now. All right, let's get our first power. Reroll. All right, so we're gonna get two champions. It's not like the very best power, um, but it's it's probably doable. So that means that uh, whenever we summon a pike, we're gonna, gonna be getting a second pike. The best power we can get on these, I think, is round start rally, so we can attack every each round. Like that really makes a big difference. All right, send all these back. We really want pike. We got the snapjaw swarm. About half of our combo. Okay, we did not find. Uh, Pike. Let's just play this other two mana card. That's still not Pike. So basically playing the Snapjaw Swarm here, where uh, when we don't have the attack tokens, we can still lurk. Yeah, already not doing it quite as good. <laughs> Because if we had Pike, we could just w win on round one. And that's what we did the first time. I remember we we beat this one in under a minute the first time, but... That's alright, we're going to make up for it in other spots. Alright, just take the one drop. Alright, so with Pike, the most important things are going to be... Um, Lucian and Senna sound kind of cool. Alright, we're going to go this way towards the plus arrow. Most important things are going to be having units, and we want cheap units because all of, with, with Pike's power all of our units are lurkers. So spells are not lurkers, so if there's a spell on top, we miss lurk. So we don't want any spells at all in our deck. And so that's going to be a big part of what we're doing here is we're not only like, never want a spell, but um, whenever we go through there's a chill in the air. 
we're going to be trying to cut our spells. Oh, I forgot that that was going to get us the second one. I should have waited on that then. Yeah, I should have waited on that for this round. I should have just double hatch leaned. Okay, so we still hit Lurk. We're still good. Right, that wasn't just Pike that gets us the two copies, it's all of our champions. Um, I don't want these cards. Play start a free attack is so good. I'm gonna take I'll just take double Yasuo. We get Yes. Okay, so that's gonna be the important thing, is because we're gonna need to try to go through and cut um, all of our non um, our non unit cards. So we start with two two cards that are non-units and two copies of each of them, so four total cards. With Chum the Waters. Uh, I mean, this hand's perfectly fine. And um, Bone Skewer as the other one. I play that before attacking. So I'm gonna have to wait till you know round four basically to kill them. Anyway, since we got Lucian, we added in the two copies of Radiant Strikes. There is that little bit of delay with lurking each time. Okay, so our run's not as good as last time with the, this Lulu one, but we can probably make up some time somewhere else. Champion item. I guess I don't really want any of these. I don't. Yes, play Star Free Attack. There we go. Let's go with the Lucian. Lucian, play Star Free Attack. So now we have two two drops that start a free attack. Uh, I don't really want any of you. Get a reroll token. All right, cut. Ugh, we didn't hit any of them. Let's get rid of it. We didn't hit the spell. I think I I think I used all my rerolls, right? I don't think I had a reroll left. What do you mean max chest so fast? Which what chest? So we basically want one of our two mana free attacks and pike in our opener. We have the two mana free attack, but we do not have pike. So let's go ahead and just play. Hmm, I should just play Sharkling. I basically play that because it costs two mana, so next round we can play both. And of course, we have the attack token, so free attacks when you don't have the attack token are used. Oh, the weekly chest? Um, you do get different um, bonuses, daily bonuses, for the first times you play, like, First times you win like ranked games each day, and also the, the labs here, the Path of Champions, you do get bonuses each time you play Path of Champions each day. Um, so yeah, you can get some different bonuses like that. So that's the mid boss done in seven minutes. 
we're probably going to be a couple minutes behind. Our new power. Oh, I did still had a reroll. All of our things have overwhelm. I should have rerolled and tried to cut one of those spells. So yeah, playing Path of Champions is like a great way to level up your weekly chest. You really get a lot of XP for the Path of Champions because you get lots of wins. You get lots of wins very quickly. And you also get the bonuses each day, your first games each day. There we go. There's We finally got our combo together. So our Snapdraw Swarm has the play start a free attack. But it already starts a free attack. Okay. Challenge you. So I'm not attacking with... Um, there we go. Finish? Oh. I already finished fourth. Okay. So I'm not attacking right there with the Pike, because then we just waste the six seconds of the level up animation. We don't need that. Alright, choose some cards that don't matter. You get regen. Leave. Reroll token. Leave. Um, I guess this route. Open attacking with part of the board. And only few seconds shade off the final time. That's true. Alright, I love the snapjaw swarms. I wonder if the other one's like the better one to start off with. You know, they get the barriers, but. Because like this one, like Mirror Mage actually just gets to eat that. Okay, so the Mirror Mage didn't block because of Overwhelm. The Overwhelm's real, you know, everything having Overwhelm is really nice with this Yasuo. Oh, Death from Below? No, I should play Yasuo, right? I don't know, Yasuo 7 power. This thing's 6 power. What do I do? What don't I do? But also killed that 4 drop. But now we have to deal with the uh, Pike level up animation. 6 seconds. All right, so we're gonna be behind our Lulu time, but not by too much. Not by too much. Alright, that was kind of a waste. Ooh, we still hit Bone Skewered. But remember, so the real record time is two hours. So, like, this this path here is still, you know, way ahead. But, yeah, you can see that we're going to be a little bit behind our previous Lulu. Our Lu previous Lulu, though, was perfect. Alright, I'm just going to keep this. I'm just going to keep all these ones and twos. So, these Lucians start free attacks. Double Lucian's Rally. I should probably put another... This is mercy. 
probably should put like one of those last bonuses on Lucian. That's not very good. I was gonna be playing Roland's Pursuit right here, but I guess it's just much better to go to this, you know, play two more, two, two more of those, go to this round, and Roland's Pursuit. I figured it didn't matter what I did there, but I guess it did matter. Stop eating or no more walkies. Uh, I waste so much time. I'm in the red. No, is that gonna level that up? Guys, we can stop the time, please. There we go. Zero. Stay dead. All right. So again, so this um, timing is like two minutes ahead, or you know, so we're two minutes behind what we had before. But remember, it's still like 15 total minutes ahead of what the record is right now. Gangplank. So we had like perfect. There we go. Round Star Rally. Let's go. That's that's the power of one. Yeah. So there's uh, the A button. Um, attacks all. So that's there's the A key. Just attack all. All right, get all these spells out of here. Let's find Pike. Pike, Pike, Pike. Pike on top. No Pike. Oh, we have Round Star Rally. I should have just gone Swarm. Well, maybe not. We gotta do 10 damage. That was kind of risky there. You know, I could have blood bait to make sure that that was a lethal attack. I probably should have. Yeah, I know the animations, the one second, you know, one two second like delay lurk, the lurk being delayed, definitely hurts. All right, just take the two drop. Rexi, we still have, we've never gotten Rexi on any of these. Never Rexi. We'll just take Lucian again. I'm gonna go this way. I'm not sure which one's better to go, but taking time thinking about it isn't worth it. We can go to the champion item. Yes, there we go. Okay, we got Swarm into Pike. Got our combo. open attack here. I guess they get to play something. I keep step with the heartbeat of Nazis. Good 
Lethal, good. Get to watch the six second animation, but we got lethal. All right, we will start every game drawing uh, drawing Pike every single game. That's great. So this run's looking pretty good. Like, the game plank run here is looking pretty good. We got Round Star Rally, and we always start with Pike in our hand. So those are both pluses. Those are the worst cards, like, in our deck. <laughs> we need to cut some cards. That's what it looks like. Again. Anyone hurt? <laughs> First me, then the world. Okay, yeah, we're doing we're doing good on this run. Let's, so we got ten minutes to still beat Gangplank, we're not even to the halfway boss if we want to stay with our time from last time. Card shot, give me a reroll. Anything to buy? Nope. Cut a card. Cut the Chumble Waters. We have a lot of rerolls, too. Which is good, because, you know, like, after Swain here, we get another power. And so we can, you know, try to really find a good power. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll take one. I'll take ones. Okay, at least the good thing about that bone skewer being in our hand is that we can't be on top for the lurk. Can't block. It's too bad. Blocking seems kind of important. Seventeen. For the Empire. Move out. Oh. I'm just gonna hit this to make sure that we hit Lurk. Stick around. Got friends coming. Come on, there we go. Which, I mean, I could just open attack again anyway. Maybe that wasn't worth it. How many seconds did it take to play that card? Probably like four seconds to play that card. Probably not worth it. Yeah. I guess you're free. I'll, I'll take the free card. Okay, new power. Cast a spell. Summon an ally, deal one to the Nexus. I guess we'll do that. Doesn't seem like the spell's chest. I do not want a spell's chest. Go the other way. All right, so every unit that we summon deals one to them. I don't know if that's even that, but that's probably not that great of a power, right? Because what we, what's it going to do? Like five or six damage total. All right, tomorrow we don't need to keep Pike anymore because we get Pike automatically. Yeah, uh, Lightest is I think the 
lurk ability got more of a lag after the last patch. It has been kind of laggy for us. Oh, I guess it's going to really enable our plunder all the time, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, our plunder is going to be really enabled. Alright, level up Pike. So I guess that power does go good with my Pike ability, where we can just have, like, round one Pike all the time. Not doing that bad. This gangplank run has been great. Much better than last time. Cause I could see us beating gangplank in the next five minutes. Anything to buy? Nope. There's like the two drop that start game start put me in your hand. Maybe I should have taken that. I don't know. I'm making these decisions real quickly. So this thing has yeah, refill your mana equal to cost. Love that ability. Yeah, that's a great ability. Those are just free. All right, so this is going to be a pretty good round one. It's going to take a little bit of time, but all right, so we play that. Do one to them, enable plunder. Oh. Play that for free. Play another one of these. We fill our mana. Now I can play that. So that's going to be three mana. For next round, we can have a scout attacker for three mana. Down to 20. This is. Just. Lethal right there if I just attack. Alright, see you, Riptide Rex. Okay, not bad, not bad. Kinda liking this free plunder. Not bad. Last Breath Rally. Eh. Eh. Man. Man, these are not good. Alright, use all my... Uh, I'm summoned, refill mana. On the Lucian. So we can play that round one, refill. Cut. Blood bait. Okay. We got three minutes to be Gangplank to get back on time. I think we can do it. I think we I think we got this. In three minutes. Alright, Mulligan, Mulligan. I kinda I think I should maybe keep that two two drop, but. Okay, snap to swarm even better. Okay. See, this is this is how round ones should go. Alright, Lucian, refill our mana. One of them. Zero Sight Hatchling, refill our mana. Pike for free. Snapjaw Swarm. Get an attack. Lurk it up. Alright, now we attack again. Good. Snap. 
it's not really lethal. Let's play this thing. How do you have Challenger? I have a dragon? Oh, I do have a dragon! This thing's a dragon! Haha! <laughs> Is that lethal? That's lethal. No, it's not! Never mind. Alright, well. That's really lethal. Yeah, 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 you can have that thing. Nobody cares. Now lethal. Stop the time. Ooh! Man, we really made up some time with that Gangplank run. Dude, Round Start Rally makes the biggest difference. That's like, that's the best keyword to have. Wow, that was pretty awesome. <sighs> okay, gonna go fight Ezreal. Do, 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 do. Round Star Rally. No. 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 Wow. Ugh. All, right, all of our things are have fury. Wasted every single reroll. All right, this is gonna be tough. So we just gotta. We got 20 minutes though to beat Ezreal. But this one's tough because this one has karma. Karma can be difficult for sure. Alright, we'll keep Pike. I miss Round Start Rally. Cast on the waters. It's an awesome day for progress. Stone rations, check on the fifties. I should have cast it. Alright, so we're trying to beat our record from the run that we just did. So the current record up on speedrun.com is two hours. In one minute for this event. Um, and so that's that's the official record that we're trying to beat is two hours and one minute. Um, we just did a run that was like an hour 45, but I accidentally kind of messed up the Victor thing. Like it really should have been an hour 45. Um, so we're comparing against that hour 45 run uh, over here. And so now we're, we were doing good after Gangplank. This Ezreal one, though, is already looking kind of rough. We used all of our rerolls, and we have a crappy power after using four rerolls. So not looking good. Oh my gosh, what are what is this garbage? We don't have any rerolls. Hit Rek'Sai for the first time ever. Never Rek'Sai. Karma, I guess. I don't know. None of these. I took Karma because Karma had two units. I mean, I guess Thrash and Blighty Caretaker would have been two units. This is a really bad run on Ezreal. We gonna have to get lucky. The the the, the reason why I took Karma though, because uh, you know, like I said, it's two units and so is Thrash. But the tiebreaker with taking. What do you do? Attack you know Navlon. The tiebreaker with taking Karma over um, Thresh was that we do face Karma, and so we could have our own leveled up Karma. I don't know if that really matters. I guess our leveled up Karma's aren't going to be very good because we don't have we don't cast spells. 
Don't mind if I do. Go on, shake me. The bride of Swallow down. Let's just give our let's just give our Pike elusive, make it more difficult. Round to block Pike. Lethal. Still lethal. Okay. So we got a little bit more than 14 minutes to finish out this run. It says real one. No, I have to take something. I guess that one. Item chest. Make an, someone make an ephemeral copy of me in hand? Oh, I love that power. But I don't think that they will... No, they the ephemeral copies won't get the plus two, plus two lurk bonus. Okay, amateur aeronauts. I know, right? This deck can put so much pressure on them immediately. I should probably be keep, keeping hammers now because I have so many cards that are bad. Oh, finally! Finally get our combo. Snap draw swarm for your attack. Round one pike. Let's just do this. That means we get to do the 7 damage, and now we get the free attack thing again. Oh, uh, but it does, yeah, so it doesn't get any of the bonuses like the other one did. The plus 2, plus 2 bonus. Okay. I get stunned. Yeah, so this none of these get the plus two plus two bonus either. What seems to be the problem? The, the twist of fate power is really bad. I don't remember what it is. The the Piltover and Zon decks are all like really good. Like they really tuned the Piltover and Zon decks, I think, because of the prologue. Uh, I don't think they really paid much attention to the other ones. I think that's a champion power, maybe, but I need a reroll token so bad. Um, any of y'all worthwhile? I don't know, that fallen feline's kinda cool. Got a card. Uh, I'm just gonna cut the side of the dragon. Oh, I only have 11 more minutes to defeat Ezreal, and our deck's terrible. If you draw three plus cards in a round, deal three to the enemy nexus and the strongest enemy follower at round end. Gosh, that is pretty rough. Oh, wait, wait, we're facing Karma. Those are actually like the cards I want. You need to pay attention, sorry. Like, Ship Recorder actually get against Karma. And, like, those other cards. Like, Tom Catch. Yes, we got Pike on top. Okay. You can put this back in my hand. I'll replay it again. You're not a Lurker anymore. Oh, no, no, no. They're going to deny this, aren't they? Whew. Thank you, 
for not denying. Thank you for not denying. Appreciate you. Wow, you're only five power? Kill the karma. Alright, we have the mana for those. Another pike. Get a couple more of those in. Slaughter dots got nothing on me. Man, they're going wide also. So I just need a Good death from below. Oh, I need something dead before death from below, don't I? I need the room. Board space. Got two overwhelms, got an elusive. going on here? It just, it was just kind of lagging a little bit. I was like, why is this taking so long? Alright, open attack time. Hopefully defeat Karma. Good, hit the Lurk. Yeah, because I knew they are going to like, probably like stun something and Maybe shoot another thing. Definitely need to play these other things just in case. All right. Done with Karma. So a little bit behind our time, probably. Can we defeat Ezreal in seven more minutes? I don't know about that. I have no rerolls. So I guess the decisions are going to be pretty easy because I can't reroll anything. I'm just going to take some stuff. Rouse our rally. Not going to that one again. Remember now, I almost went there because that's where the cha champion item is, but that's the one like where waste seconds every single round, you know, giving you a new hand and everything. Okay, no attack token the first round. Oh, puff caps really slow the game down. I shouldn't be doing, getting a puff cap card. I shouldn't grab the puff cap card. Good, you get stunned. Never mind, the puff cap card's doing good. Just gonna get stunned. Two one's gonna get stunned next round. Let 
has perused this establishment's fair. You enjoy prospecting. This is a weird game. That's fine. I have so many useless cards. My deck is not very good. My deck is not very good. No greater gift than knowledge. Bring me tea to gain the strength of rivers. Man, my like my hand is horrendous. Man, I can't even let that happen. been a bad run. Yeah, see the pupcap slowing down. Now Pike's about to level. Oh my gosh, now I get the damage for that pupcap. Thank you for stunning the things already stunned. I appreciate it. Now who's got the upper hand? And they recalled the thing that Pike was going to strike so we don't have to watch the level up. All right, two more minutes to finish out Ezreal. I don't know about that. This deck. I can't wait for the next <laughs> deck that we can get. Oh, you already started free attack. All right, you can capture some enemies. What does the Mimic do? Uh, I don't want any of these. Oh, that two drop elusive is not bad. Oh, just get out of here. Reroll token, thank you. Um, no, I don't want any of you. Petty Officer with Restore Mana and Add a Copy would be fun for infinite barrels. If we could get that combo. Okay, yeah, keep on adding comp- yeah, keep on adding copies and replacing. Okay. So, our Sharkling's pretty good. Our Hatchling's pretty good. Like, our, our our OG Lurkers are all pretty good. Snapjaw Swarm, of course, good. Ooh, Pike on top. I'll just go triple Hatchling. Because if they don't have a unit, can you even cast stuff from below? I don't think that answer may be no. Let's 
See, now we just have our Lurkers and our deck's looking a lot better. I should have played the Shark Wing here first. Okay, so we're basically starting the Ezreal fight at like the same time that we would have been. Yeah, this Ezreal run's been rough. Sure, go and capture stuff. Be my guest. I want more copies of that. Cut one of these. Okay. <laughs> Our gangplank run was so good. But now this Ezreal run's been so bad. question is play stuff first or not and I think we do oh you're gonna go away so we'll just go and play you oh, thanks for taking the four damage first and then playing that All right, so I'm not actually capturing anything Play some hatchlings. Thank you for not being patient. Come on, lethal. Come on, lethal. We're already a couple minutes over our time. Oh no. I don't think that's lethal. No, it's not. Ugh. That's gonna take another minute now. Can we just. Wait, we can just stun you. And then free attack you. Figured it out. Alright. 235 behind. But still, you know, like, we're, we're still doing great. Because remember, like, the actual record right now is just two hours. And so we're still pretty far ahead of that. I think we're, yeah, we're ten minutes ahead of, of that pace. Okay, new run. This Zed level feels like it can be really tricky, though. Uh, Alright, we'll take random keywords on our allies. Hope that our free attack Snapjaw Swarm can hit Scout, and then we get to Rally. Again, this is another level of not round start Rally. That was the thing about like last time is that we hit round start rally uh, multiple times. This time we only hit the one time the gangplank, and you can see how good it was getting that. Hmm, Miss Lurk. Okay. 
this time we have to lurk, right? Yeah, we got all these spells in our hand. Thank you, AI, for not even playing anything and not really putting up too much of a fight. Yeah, because we have to beat Zed in 11 minutes from now? How is that even possible? I probably should have taken the rally thing. Rek'Sai. Oh, I should have taken Sivir. Sivir is probably better than Poppy. Poppy's a pretty good support champion, though. Alright, Battlesmith fight's usually pretty easy. There, Snapjaw Swarm. Okay, we don't have the attack token this round anyway, so this is a good time to get the Lurk in. Ah, uh, it didn't hit Scout. Ooh, Overwhelm. Very nice. If I didn't forge it, you won't want it. I guess we go this route. Got this from a side quest. Turns up for forging my foot. Hopefully twenty one. Yeah. Okay. Doing pretty good. Definitely pickaxe the head. That's a good one. Card shot by reroll. Um, nope. Go down this way. When your Zed runs with Caitlyn, I got Trifarian Might. Oh man, that's yeah. We haven't gotten like Trifarian Might at all. I love that power. But then the power that summons an ephemeral copy of champions twice. See, so see, so just make yeah two copies. They both strike. Uh, and then with, that just like levels up. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Just play Caitlyn, and they all did. Very nice. You'll soon understand my methods. I'll go double one drop. To, I think it's better to do the, this. You'll thank me later. Guess we're going. Nope. This isn't part of the training. Bye. Get down to twenty-four. Traditions are lost if not passed on. I have all my training. Okay. Probably should have played like one of these things. Oh, so the hammer snout has draw me if not in hand. I didn't really realize that. Stack natural. I got you. Augment. Yuck. We're, we're not even gonna come close to our other Zed time. Like, we haven't gotten to the half boss yet. We definitely had Round Star Rally last time with Zed, also. Round Star Rally just makes such a big difference. Time for a leap of faith. Alright, team, adventure time! Lots of lifesteal over here. You call that sneaky. Okay, yeah, so that's lethal. I got lucky. You'll get me next time.
champion item. Cut a card. Yeah, bone skewer. Okay, so those were some good additions to the deck, but it's all going to be about what our next power is going to be. After we defeat Fiora. Yorl Squire, because you're a one drop. No, I should have sent it back. I should have sent it back. I'm actually here. So unfortunately, the Hammer Snout got into our hand, so we didn't get to, um, you know, get the, the bonus of start the game with me in your hand. Got this from a side quest. Scout, love it. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Yes. They thought they were safe. Oh, I could have done the overwhelm again. I want to get that thing out of here anyway. Okay, down to sixteen. I long for a worthy opponent. If you want something done right, let me do it. Yeah, I don't know if this is the right move or not. Everything I've worked for. Kind of just doing it. Oh, there are one? I didn't math it out. I could have dealt one damage with the tiny spear. Break their spirits and their souls. Be Demacia. Come on. And we miss Lurk. Man, we miss Lurk. I could have I could have played the card in my hand to put Lurk on top or the Tiny Spear. Could have done either one. You know, probably cost us I don't know 20 seconds or whatever. Missing that Lurk. Round start rally. I tried. I tried mulliganing for round start rally. Didn't get there. So I guess our allies will just have plus one plus zero. Send them back. Wow. At least we start with that card in our hand. Thankfully. That ability. Thank me later. How did that move go? No, I shouldn't have blocked there. I don't want to block there. Kneel students, rise warriors. Follow my lead. A red card and then play. Red card to enable plunder, and then I can play Pike. Scout Pike? Augment. The others have fearsome and elusive. So they don't. They couldn't actually block any of the others. Looks like that's elusive. I can't block that. Okay. 
Oh, you were scout, but oh well. Alright, so casting that because that's quicker... I think that was quicker than having the pike level up. Probably save a second or two. token Okay, not the best run. Cuz we were doing so good before I just messed up the second to last thing, you know, like right before Victor. I just stopped the time and it just flustered me and threw me off. If you capture the strongest enemy. You're not really the best support. Have supported this thing, gotten that to four health, but I wasn't gonna take the time to do it. I just hit the auto attack. Still so much to learn. Never lost a fair game. Play one. Dead in All right, so Trust Fate has Scout. I want to take it use of that at all? Woo! Okay. It's important getting out of here. Like each game, getting out of it is very, very important. Reroll tokens. Nope, nope. Travel there, cut. Hmm. Alright, we're already down on time pretty good. But if you think about it, we have another, um, you know, another 55 minutes to, you know, basically another hour to break the record. No, I have the attack token this round. Let's get double hash right now. Come on, hit the lurk. Yay. You have nothing to do. Ooh, great card. losing 30 seconds in the Zed battle. It seemed like we lost a lot of time. But we only lost 30 seconds from what we had last time. Alright, so we're down 30 minutes. Could really use Mana Flow and Round Start Rally here against Nautilus. 
Remember my victor run wasn't very good though last time. We could probably have a lot better victor run than what I had. Alright, come on. Round star rally. Let's get it. No, we'll take evolution. So they all have plus one, plus one for each keyword they have. That's going to be some big size and still have my rerolls for the power after Sejuani. Um, what do you do? Summon heal Nexus. All right, no attack token. So that means you. So of course, all my things have lurk, right? So that power gives them at least plus one, plus one, and then some of them have like fearsome. So close. Finish them out, you know, because I could have had them at two. Shouldn't have kept the hammer snow. I mean, I could just pass. I don't even need to cast this. I could just pass and just attack with the two. Here are some. All right, do you think we can get through Nautil the entire Nautilus thing in 12 more minutes? Probably not. Yuck. Rek'Sai for the first time ever. Never Rek'Sai. Glory for Renekton. I wonder if it's right ever going towards these Freljord ones. These Freljord ones seem to... I don't know, maybe I should just be going... ...towards the Bilgewater ones all the time. Alright, so no keywords for the Bloodthirsty Marauder. Unfortunately, we have th three unplayable cards at hand. Oh, wow. Okay, Lurk. How do we miss Lurk? Oh, I should have cast the Blood Bait. Ruthless Predator? Killing me. But yeah, that was my thinking. Like, I didn't want to cast the Blood Bait because then, you know, we're going to have the four mana here. We could actually cast that thing and get the... get that card. Bad hand. Uh, still have Mike, I suppose. Their bones will litter the desert. Jess, with that resub, 13 months now. I appreciate that, Jess. Thank you so much. So waiting on the Snapchat, playing the Snapchat Swarm uh, so that we can play it right here while having the attack token. We can lurk on this round. Oh, they're at two? Oh, I could have just played it and saved a bunch of time. Thank you, Jess. Thank you very much. 
I guess I should look at their life total sometimes. Alright, we got 8 minutes and 20 seconds. <laughs> it's beat Nautilus. Alright, probably not gonna happen. I don't want any of these cards. Buy the reroll token. Um. So what's the. Yeah. If I just go away from the, the Freljord once, because Freljord is the region that really cares about Toph. I should have gone towards it. They're gonna have that animation at the beginning of every single round. Never mind, we should go to Frolly Horde. Alright, what's new? Missing Lurk. Just two seconds around. So we got death from below. Okay, so you can cast zero mana death from below. So you like, like, or uh, death from below without them having a target. I wasn't sure about that. Come on. Now, hopefully, they can't stop this six damage coming in. Yeah, like, I haven't faced that Juani yet. We're... Last speed run was so good. Can't believe I messed up the very, very end. Alright, so I think I just... I think we just chose to... I think we just got Sharing is Caring to go along with our evolution, so... Um, you know, chose those super fast, but I think that was evolution. So we're gonna share our keywords, but then they all get plus one plus one for each keyword. So that sounds like a good deal. Okay, so never have the attack token right away. Good, hit lurk. Ooh, hit lurk with pike. Love it. Yeah, these are all gonna have fearsome anyway. Fight or die. Yeah, so they're just sharing the fearsome. We got another sub pockets. Late night stream. That's right. So thank you, pockets. Fight. 
Alright, so I could cast zero mana death from below right there, but I actually think I should... Oh, no. I was gonna just this death from below this thing, but now... Hmm. I don't get the Renekton. But, you know, like them being at 11 and everything. So that gives them all quick attack. So another plus one, plus one. I could play the Renekton... I'll go ahead and do it. It take, doesn't take hardly any time, but it's just like a... Alright, it's a just in case. Better safe than sorry, but this is another time that I should not be attacking with Pike. I wasted six seconds. Right, because it would have been seven at seven. Now it's at 13. So the goal is still an hour 45. That's the goal, and so we can still definitely get there. I mean, really, the goal is like two hours. You know, we gotta be two hours, but. Is that a spells chest? I don't wanna go to a spells chest after this. I just kinda went to this fight instead of the other fight, but. I think I'm going towards the spells chest. Okay, so now all of my allies have Overwhelm. They all get plus one, plus one for every keyword they have, so they all have Lurk, they all have Overwhelm. That's an ugly hand. And then they also share keywords. Alright, so, do looking pretty good. Good draw. Quick attack. Idiots. I'm all fearsome. It's not, not quite lethal. All right, nothing that can block fearsome. Very good. So bad at hitting Lurk. I think we didn't need it. All right, we're getting there. Now get the one drop. Oh, champion item. Awesome. Scout. Yeah, good win there. We're staying alive. We're still going to be a little behind. But hopefully hopefully not three minutes behind, right? Hopefully we can make up a little bit of time. We're, we're starting to do bit better. Missing Lurk. What is new? This last breath rally. Magic has no place here. Leave your tracks in the door. Steal what is forced. Let's talk about your death. Okay, okay. We feast tonight. Snapdraw swarms are huge. Their bones will litter the desert. Give them all quick attack. That means plus one plus one. Good. Hit the lurk. Alright. Nice win. So we're gonna be a little bit behind heading into Nautilus.
think we're heading into Nautilus now, right? Oh, um... Yes. So, see how fast we can defeat Nautilus. Basically right on time. From the last one. Okay, there we go. Good. I like that card. We have the attack token round one. Very nice. Here's some. All right, so that's our that's our round one. Oh, this thing got scout. Who had scout? Oh, Pike has scout. Right. Okay. Now, what do you even? What are you even doing? Okay, they all already have overwhelm. So that's a scout attack. Okay, so we saved six seconds on Nautilus. All right, and see, this is where the, the Victor time's messed up. Like, you know, we didn't beat Victor in, in 10 minutes. It was really, like, 20 minutes. You know, it's like it was, like, a minute 45. Or an hour 45. Okay, let's get a good power. Let's get round start rally. And let's make up that time. Because we can... You can beat Victor pretty quickly if you get some good powers. Because there's not that many fights in Victor. They're tough fights. You can go through this pretty quickly. Um, Alright, Mana Gem. That's a good one. Alright. So really, I'm hoping to beat it in 20 minutes. Hoping 145. Or better than that. Another heal your nexus. Support. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Pockets. Pockets says, this is fun, even if it makes me feel inadequate on my runs. Well, remember, I have a fully powered pike, you know, like level 22 pike. That's good. So I can just unload my hands. Hitler. Still one short, aren't I? No! Oh, because the support! Exactly, lethal. Yeah, I haven't started Pike yet. Pike's a fun champion. I don't necessarily think Pike's going to be the absolute fastest. I think Zed is the fastest champion you can play. Okay, let's get Rek'Sai for the first time ever. No, LeBlanc, though. LeBlanc... The problem with LeBlanc is... LeBlanc levels up super easily, which means level up animation. Besides that, LeBlanc's good. But LeBlanc does have that one trouble, the one problem. Level up animation. Alright, so we have the attack token round one. Forget, but the black rose remembers. Overwhelm. Thank you. Smoke and mirrors. The bridal swallowed down. I don't know if it's even worth casting the lucky finds because they take a little while to play. Oh. I 
guess that's a thing. good level for us. Those things with Challenger are really annoying. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Alright, just gonna clear their board. So they're at 16. How much attack do we got? 14 right now, so we have to hit Lurk on the open attack. So I can if I, I can for sure. Okay, now we can just do this. Okay. So, fighting our way through. Victor. Hoping to win in about another 15 minutes. Take the unit. Go to the card shop. Buy a reroll token. See if there's any good one drops. Maybe that last one way down there, but I'm not going to take the time to look. It's not worth it. So we have four more fights left. We have this one, and then Azir, and then Turrets, and then Victor. Could definitely use some better power. Or like, you know, just another power or something like that. There we go, there we go. What do you have? The round star rally just makes such a big difference if you can attack every single round. Our previous round we got that power twice. This time we've got that power once. It makes all the difference. Staring the abyss, it'll stare back. You just challenged there. What's 17? What's up, Sparky? Hoping this is lethal. Yeah. I didn't, you know, not taking the time to challenge and that kind of stuff. Alright, three more fights. Hopefully, like 13 minutes for the three fights. Refill mana. Take refill mana. Spell shield for the one drop. More one drops. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go this route so I can purchase another reroll token. Yeah, more one drops. So I'm gonna want to be rerolling hard on these powers. There you go. Every day is a new day. That is true. Man, terrible hand. Send it all back. Come 
much better. Probably just gonna blue card. Yeah, yeah I just need cards, but I hate how blue card takes like a minute. Blue card takes so long. That's like five seconds, just a blue card. Alright, Pike on top. I, I kind of want a bone skewer that. I want a bone skewer there. But of course, we definitely want Pike. Now we can. Let me just put Twisted Fate back on top because Twisted Fate's a great card to have access to on top. Right? Like they play something that gives them a bunch of sand soldiers. We go red card. Okay, they're just doing that. I think I'll still red card just to kill this 1 1. Probably just taking extra time I don't need. So we have two fights after this. We're gonna have like 10 minutes for two fights. Because my real time, you know, the 134 was not the real time for Victor last time. Remember, it was about 10 minutes later than that. It's so like 144 was the real time. And that's only because we died on Victor and had to redo Victor. <laughs> you know, had to have a second life. Because I re really started messing things up. Because that, that 134 time was whenever we got done with the turrets, which we're, we're not even on turrets yet. Yeah, we definitely did a lot better last time, but last time we had round start rally multiple times. We had it in uh, Lulu and Ezreal. You can see Lulu and Ezreal were the two that I... I was behind like five minutes total. It's those two. All right, we got rerolls. Uh. All right, Trafarian Might's good. All right, two fights left. Ten minutes. Foundry, then Victor. Good. All right, just going to attack. Jagged Butchers are 4 power now. I'm just gonna save mana, because I really want to try Farian Might. Man, those things are 4 power. That's 4 power also. Everything's 4 power right now. Okay, 
Can I get start a free attack card? No. Okay, I could have done this a little better. I got the kids. Just borrowing. Probably could have killed them previously. So it looks like we're going to go face. Have you leveled up? Pike leveled up? No, Pike's not leveled up. Looks like I. We're gonna have, you know, about five minutes to defeat Victor. Like our chances. Back to the waters. Bring the dead with us. Okay. Here we go, this is gonna just determine how much time this is. We're basically on the same path. We got another mana gem, so we're starting round one with four mana. You get out of here. Jagged Butcher, get out of here too. I shouldn't have bought those Jagged Butchers, that was dumb. I didn't block the 3 2, honestly. Okay. So far, so good. You know what my future is? Glorious. So, I like playing Thorn of the Rose over LeBlanc so that we uh, you know, don't get closer to LeBlanc's level up. Twenty. That's uh, not gonna be lethal. Wow. Why is LeBlanc at the front? LeBlanc should definitely be in the back. Thanks, auto attack. That could have been one more point of damage. Wow. One more point of damage is what we need. Cause then this would have dealt too. Wow. Auto attack. Auto attack killed me. Personal. Okay, so we're looking about. Alright, come on, come on. Give me the attack token. Auto attack. Ready to stop the clock. Once it's at zero. Cast the spells. Right there. Alright, 141 21. Okay, so that was, it ended up being better than my last time because I messed up the last battle, the Victor battle, so bad. The last time. So I know it shows that it's worse, but remember, I stopped, the, that clock that I stopped was after turrets, not after Victor. After Victor was like 144. So, 141. Kind of like some 41. Alright, so that's the full campaign with Pike, 141, one hour, 41 minutes. Took off a lot of time from our two hour and 14 minute run with Caitlyn. Um, you know, what, that's 33 minutes that we took off of there. Um, so there we go. Got got a new record for Pike with the um, full campaign speed run. Speed runs, I've been, I've been really liking these speed runs. They've been a lot of fun. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, uh, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know how you like these speed runs. Hopefully y'all enjoying them. Um, but uh, yeah, that's going to be it though for, uh, for Pike. So 
thanks again for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.